Rocket League players, you're the problem. Okay, so I was talking to a friend about ranking up in Rocket League, and this guy's been hard stuck for a while. He plays over 15 hours a week. He's about 30 years old. He has over 3,500 hours in this game, and he's been hard stuck between Diamond 3 and Champ 1 for over a year. And the reason I'm making this is because as we were talking, I got a little bit heated, and we didn't have time to go over everything I wanted to go over with this guy, but it's been eating at me because I know this player is not going to be successful. And the reason that he's not going to be successful is the same reason that 90% of the people that I see are stuck where they are. So I want to walk you through this conversation and I'm going to walk you through the exact advice that I would hopefully give to you. Let's just call you John if you're watching because I don't want you guys to be stuck and I'd rather be brutally honest with you so you know why you are rather than sugarcoat things. And I know what you're thinking, Luke, why should I listen to you? So for those of you new here, what's up? Welcome. I'm a peak grand champ three player, 1700 MMR that puts me in the top 20,000 players in this game. But what I'm more proud of is the fact that I've stayed grand champ for the past over two years, despite averaging two ranked games per day. And the reason for that is because I actually spend most of my time making these free YouTube videos for you guys and running Rocket League's number one largest coaching company called the Grand Champ boot camp. Inside the GCB, we specialize in helping average players like you and me ranked platinum and above fast track their improvement without having to grind 30 hours per week. So if you're 18 plus years old and interested in learning how me and over 3000 people from over 23 countries around the world are doing this too, send me a discord DM with keyword hours and we can talk details on coaching. Enjoy the video guys. Have you guys ever seen that video on Sunless Khan's channel? It's called the gold with 10,000 hours or something. A staggering 10,000 hours in the game. God's dad has spent most of his Rocket League career no higher than gold. This guy who's bottom 25% of the ladder after playing for literally 10,000 hours hours. I started to see what was causing his issues with ranking up over the years. First off, God's dad is obsessed with his teammates. When he comes up behind his teammates to get the ball, it's because he has a higher plan and vision of the game. But when his teammates do the same thing to him, it's because they're stupid ball chasers that want more points than him. And while his mentality is definitely holding him back, I pointed out that his mechanics could use some work too. I'm going to bring this back. John, my champ friend, had a similar problem, and it's a problem that most of you guys have, but you don't realize it. After we talked for a while, I gave him some advice. He responded by saying that he's open to trying the advice that I gave him. He's open to testing out what it would be like, but then he's followed up with this. But you know me, I only play 15 hours a week. You know, I'm, I'm not very mechanical. I'm 30 years old. So, you know, I don't know if this is going to work for me. Then he proceeded to go through a laundry list of reasons why he can't be successful. And he finished by saying, so it might not work. And you know, if, if it doesn't, that's probably why it won't work. Right, Luke? After he said that, I took a moment to just, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just kind of got a little bit tense. And so in the moment, I was very nice to John. I promise. Like, I, I try not to be super confrontational in person. But John, if you're watching this, here's what I would say to you now. Maybe the reason you're champ with 3,500 hours isn't because of your age. Maybe it's partially due to your age, why you're learning slower. But maybe the main thing holding you back is every time you hit a wall, you throw the controller down and say, I'm 30. It's impossible for me to learn this. I must not be able to do this out of my control. Because as we talk, John, that's all I ever heard again and again. And all of this made me think of a player named Shock. If you don't know, Shock is a retired pro player, and he's actually currently a coach in my coaching program. He's been coaching me. You may have seen it in some of the videos. And the reason I want you guys to know the story of Shock is because he's the definition of a self-made pro Rocket League player. He's currently 24 years old. And the thing that I admire so much about Shock and the reason I'm working with him myself is because he's told me time and time again how nothing in this game came easy to him. This game and its mechanics never came like easy to me. It was never like natural. Whereas for others, it might've came a little bit easier. It just kind of happened naturally as they played. But for me, it was always a very purposeful. He had to put in more work than the average pro and all of his friends that were naturally learning around him. Point is, he didn't make excuses. He didn't tell himself, you know, half the pros are younger than me and more mechanical, might as well quit. He used this 
as fuel to say, no, I'm not as mechanical as everybody else. So I'm going to work twice as hard to get the same result. And moral of the story, in 2020, Shock was named overall North American MVP. He had a phenomenal competitive career, and it doesn't happen by accident. And so bringing it back to our friend John here, bringing it back to you, the point I'm trying to make is this. It's not about whether, you know, things will work for you. The reason you're at your rank is not because you haven't discovered something you need to discover, or you should be a certain rank, but you aren't because you're a little bit older, or you have a bad controller, or your computer isn't as good. Those might be factors as to why you're the rank you are, but the real reason of why you're champ one or champ two rated player is because you are a champ one or champ to skill level. That's it. Look, I've now seen over 3,000 players come through my coaching program at the Grand Champ Bootcamp, and I've seen hundreds of players get amazing results. And guess what? I've also seen players get no results. It's not like our coaches are telling half of our players secrets and sabotaging half of our players' gameplay. The only difference between the people who get amazing results and the people who get zero results is the person who's holding the controller. So I have a question for you. Is it you who's playing the game or is it you're playing, but you're not mechanical? Is it you're playing, but you're too old? Is it you're playing, but you're getting bad teammates? Like you guys see me now on my channel. You see that I have 400 some thousand subscribers. What you don't see is the fact that I've been uploading videos for the last 10 years. You can literally go and look at my old YouTube videos when I was playing Minecraft or when I was uploading Rocket League videos seven years ago. And if you watch those videos, you'll see me speaking into a tin can microphone, not in this fancy studio that I have built out now that I, and with my team of editors that I've built out over the last 10 years, you'll see me 12 years old being a squeaker talking into the microphone. Like it's a tin can hunched over like my laptop, which was literally on the floor, elevated with a book because it was such a shitty laptop that the only way to keep it cool was to elevate it with a book. Me yapping into that computer, recording videos for YouTube. Now the thing with cars like Breakout and Gizmo is that they have very bad turn races. At any point, I could have made the excuse that because I'm a squeaker, I can't upload YouTube videos. At any point, I could have said, I'm playing off of a laptop. I'll never be able to get to a high enough rank in these games to make educational videos. Nobody will ever care what I have to say. There's just no way I'll ever be a YouTuber. And some of you guys have extremely unfair and unjust circumstances that you don't deserve and that you shouldn't have to deal with. But the question is, so what? So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to let that reason, whatever the reason is, be the reason you fail? Or are you going to succeed despite that reason and have a better story to tell when you do? What I challenge you to do after watching this video is give power to yourself. That was my unhinged take, John. I hope you improve. I know you will, man. And for the people watching out there. I make these videos because a lot of people are hard stuck in Rocket League. I am, and I was for a long time, and I, I don't want you to be one of them. I hope that helps. And use it if it's useful, leave it if it's not. For people that are asking receipts, like, no way, he doesn't actually average less than two rank games per day. I do. Look at this. This is season five. So in season five, for context, right between season five and season six, I did uh, two months back to back of playing with pros. So I only played with pros. So what happened is I peak at GC3, 1715 MMR, and then I spent two months just playing with pro professional players. And so my rank, my rank goes down, even though I'm improving massively. I play 443 games because I'm playing with a bunch of pros and I rank way down to GC3, or I mean champ three. But like, this is like, I, in terms of improvement, this is like the most improvement, the hardest I grind. And then from there, for the last basically two years, I play 120 games. And, these, and keep in mind, Rocket League seasons are four months long. So this is like a game a day, less than like one, less than a game a day. Uh, you know, maybe two games, three, three, four games a day. This is like less than a game a day, less than a game a day, less than a game a day, you know, two, three games. And then these last couple seasons, I've been increasing my play time again. And now I'm, I'm trying to hit a new peak. But you guys see, like, I'm so serious. Like, let me show you the receipts. I'm playing out my Steam account. This is me, 14.8 hours past two weeks. I'm not making this shit up and I'm climbing to new peaks and I'm gonna, you know, hopefully SSL, SSL around 4K hours is the target. I say all that not to brag, but I say that because if I can do it, if me washed 22 years old can hit peak ranks playing an hour a day, you playing, I mean, two hours a day, you can absolutely bust through Diamond, Champ, GC1, GC2. You can do it too. Appreciate you guys.